If men's testicles did this kind of stuff on the regular, or they just turned off randomly at the age of 50, there would be non-stop conversations and scientific investigation. But somehow, perimenopause and menopause seem to slide under the radar. But today, I'm gonna to take you on a ride and teach you what is actually happening in the ovaries when you enter into perimenopause and then menopause. This is what a follicle or an egg looks like when it is inside of the ovary. Like the center portion is the actual oocyte. That is the thing that actually gets fertilized when you get a population paste inside of your soul hole. Around the egg forming the follicle, you have these two cell types. The outer one are called fecal cells, and the inner ones are called granulosa cells. They kind of form a shell around it. What is important to know here is that this structure is what makes the majority of the estrogen found in your body. Super simplified physiology coming at you. Your brain releases something called LH, luteinizing hormone. It has an action at the fecal cells. It causes them to turn cholesterol into progesterone into testosterone. That testosterone is then passed off to this inner layer, the granulosa cells, where it is again converted into estrogen. If you are an owner of ovaries, you are probably familiar with the cycle that causes one egg each month to mature and be ovulated. But what you may not know is that you're not losing a single egg each month. And over the course of your life, you're actually losing way more than you probably knew about. For instance, all of your eggs developed in utero, like they were present inside your mom, and at 20 weeks, you had six million of them. By the time you were born, it was down to one to two million. By the time you hit puberty, it's declined to 300,000, and by the time you're 35, it is 25,000 or less. And this gradual loss kind of culminates at menopause where you have a hundred or fewer and they may just not be viable, like they're unresponsive. And here's the thing, only eggs that are maturing, that are on this cycle, are able to produce estrogen. And here's another thing that a lot of people don't know, is that each month as this cycle goes through, you're not losing just one egg, you're actually losing up to a thousand through a process called atresia. So you can think of eggs as sort of the estrogen engine. So as their quantity and quality kind of declines, that engine starts to stutter or sputter. It doesn't work quite the way it should. That would be perimenopause. And then menopause is where the estrogen engine breaks down entirely and ceases to function. And that is because there are either no eggs left or the ones that are there are unresponsive. And when there's no follicles, no eggs left, that means no more estrogen. 